Good evening, uh, Mayor Dreckmeyer and council members. Um, my name is Laura Breifogel. I, my husband and I moved to the Bay Area 25 years ago to join the growing and vibrant community known as Silicon Valley. We chose to live in Palo Alto because of its proximity to Stanford and the many intellectual and cultural opportunities it provided. It's hard to imagine a better place to live. In the early years, we lived on Webster Avenue and rented an apartment. Uh, 15 years ago, we bought a property on Palo Alto Avenue. We have two children in Addison Elementary and Jordan Middle School. And in fact, uh, my 10-year-old will be visiting with uh, Mayor Dreckmeyer later this week on a field trip. Um, I worked with uh, the partners in education early in their uh, formation, and that I've been so delighted with the growth of that, that really wonderful uh, organization and the way they support our schools. And I've also had the privilege of working for Stanford for 22 years. When my friends and family ask me about what it's like working at Stanford, I say that I always start with this. It, it's a place of tremendous hope. Stanford has a history of fundamental discovery, technology transfer, and producing leaders who have contributed to making the world a better place. The long list of famous examples include Stanley Cohen, who with Herbert Boyer laid the groundwork for the field of genetic engineering. Uh, there's the famous heart surgeon, Norman Shumway. There's Dave Philo and David Yang, who revolutionized the internet by creating Yahoo. The place, though, when you work there every day, day in and out, is that it, it's, it's not the famous names. It's, it's a magnet for legions of problem solvers who are not household names. Two examples are Yishui, who is applying nanotechnology to develop lithium batteries that could last 10 times longer than the ones we use today. Then there's Carl Dizeroth, a member of the bioengineering department that Jim Plummer just uh, described, who has developed powerful new tools to help us learn more about and effectively treat depression, schizophrenia, and other psychiatric diseases. So not everything turns into a cure for depression, and not everything turns into a Yahoo, but the next breakthrough is always the top of mind, and the track record is remarkable. What it isn't, however, is predictable. So I urge the Palo Alto City Council not to impose impossible restrictions on Stanford's future. The GUP is a thoughtful and comprehensive document, and Stanford has done a rigorous sustainability study. It's hard to predict what will emerge from Stanford and when, but it remains a tremendously hopeful place.